Hey guys, it's uh, Chris Sitting here back from CNH Small Engine. We're at my cabin here this weekend. We came up here on Friday night and uh, checked the place out and got all the grass cut around here and stuff like that. And uh, Everything else looks clean up here still. Uh, we had to cut all the grass up here and uh, we had to fix my grandpa's uh, tractor up here because the tractor was, um, was not charging properly. We had to replace the um, uh, charging coil underneath the flywheel on here because he got, he got a core command. Uh, I think about a 16 horsepower and them thing we had to replace the coil plus a couple of our electrical components on it as well too and the river's still up down here now it's it's I'd say it's about five feet and five feet higher than what it should be for optimal fishing out here and stuff like that and let me show you what it looks like down here you can see that rock across the river over there that real big one straight ahead right over there, that thing should be completely out of the water and it's not. It's it's probably about four feet, four and a half, almost five feet uh, still under water out there. And there's Mongol's boat down there. He hasn't taken his boat out this, this year at all. And I, we whacked the whole bank down everything else. Everything else looks clean around here. We had to fix that path up down there for the trail, for the attractor. Take all this stuff down to the bottom. Everything else looks clean down here as well too. Let me go over here on the side over here. There's the old, there's the cable for the boat, secure thing down as well too. Steps look good. Everything else looks good down here. Got it all wee whacked, cleaned up down there. Looks great, except the river's still muddy and high and everything else. So steps look great there. They're, they're getting kind of beat up down there. A couple of them need to be replaced because they're made out of railroad ties and stuff like that. And they're, they're just garbage now. But everything else looks clean around here. Cabin looks good over here. Yep, yeah, nothing leaking, nothing, nothing bad going on up here right now. Then you go back up in the front up here. I feel like it's about maybe about 77, 78 up here right now. The humidity's going back up again because I was to be getting some storms maybe tomorrow sometime, possibly in the afternoon. And here's the fire. Here's the truck. Here's the front portion on it. We just put some new lights around the front end on there for that as well too. We got a new security lamp up there on the big tree. There's a fire. He's got them burning a bunch of crap up here right now. Everything else looks good. Like Simpson finally took took down his shit house over by his property over there. I think that thing been collapsing ever since probably about four or five years ago. We got a big tree that fell up there over the I think probably about two or three weeks ago. We're gonna have to take that thing down maybe next time we come up here for that. So. Everything else looks clean. I think we got tons of bugs up here today. And uh, that's basically everything around here, guys, for that. So, looks clean. I don't remember, I almost forgot to take that thing home. Get the thing out of there. I had to use that up there because I had to dig up some of the, um, my range up in the other woods, about a couple hundred yards up in the woods up there for that. And, I also got some targets here. Let me see if I can show you guys them up here as well too. Let me get this stuff out of the way here. Give me a couple seconds here. Let me get this stuff out of the way first. I'll show you what I was shooting up here today. Or over the weekend I should say more likely. Okay. Let me flatten them out over here for you guys. Okay. Here's the first target. This is basically at about, I'd say roughly by 40, 40 yards of there practically because I don't, I don't really have a measuring stick to really measure it at, but um, I was shooting the AK up here and this is the um, uh, DDI AK. I got most of the, all the, uh, the shots within the circle right here. This is after I adjusted because I was playing around with, with uh, some different ammunition up there over the couple, past couple days. And I finally got the bulk of them within your main portion right here. This is a... Uh, handgun target design here it's for a you can use it for a pistol and rifle basically so it, it works good uh, the ammunition I was shooting up well let me see this ain't the right let me see here uh, this ain't the right one sorry about that guys that's for my Mosin sorry I ain't gonna read the damn thing let me see here uh, that's not that's for the Bepper okay let me see here's a DDI here we go okay sorry about that guys here we go. Here's the AK. I need tons of bugs up here. Sorry about that. Here's the DDI AK. This is all shooting about 40 yards up here. Bet bulk of them are right about there. So it got relatively good grouping right now. 
This is uh, basically I was shooting with the highest possible ammunition I could buy out there. I was shooting at uh, Lapula or Lapula. I don't know how you pronounce it exactly. 124 grain, full metal jacket bullets, uh, brass case on her for that. It's basically at 40 yards. And uh, didn't have any wind hardly at all this morning on her and yesterday. Shooting from basically the, the bench position with without a without a proper rest. Basically all I got is a sandbag and I'm trying to keep it as about to stay as possible and I'm not the best shot out there to say the long shot. But uh, that's what the gun was shooting with me and uh, my my uh, my version of accuracy if you can call it that. It's all basically right there, a couple over there, and uh, I think that was about 20, or no, that was about 14, let me see here. That's, that was about 14 shots right there. I took a couple of wingers, and there's a couple down here when I was just uh, seeing how the seeing how the rifle was going to react with the uh, the high brass ammunition for that. Uh, the next one is here, let me in the back here. I was testing out the Vapor 12 again, just to you know, double check and stuff like that. Here's the first, uh, first grouping right here. This is uh, basically all the targets are right. Give this thing out of the way here for you guys. There we go. You can see a better grouping with the black background. Uh, mainly shooting right about here. Still a little teeny bit high. Should be right about here basically. But uh, I got the windage pretty much all the top on here. And it's, I'm basically I was shooting slugs with it right now. I was shooting uh, the Vapor 12 today. Or it was. Yeah, sorry, but the bug on me. There's a bug. Uh, there we go. 7 Eleven. And this is about 35, 40 yards. It was same before, Vapor 12. It was shooting the Wolf one ounce rifled slugs as well. They're two and three quarters in its length. And uh, we did have a little bit of wind right there for that uh, time period. But uh, it's, it's starting to get pretty humid, humid up here this afternoon. Yesterday it was relatively mild. So that's basically, it was shooting. Bulk of them was right about there. That's when I was probably basically being about as steady as humanly possible out there for that. So uh, that's my one grouping for the Vapor. Second grouping for the Vepper was uh wasn't wasn't as good as the first one here probably because I was wobbling the rounds a teeny bit on her for it by the ball coming right here but there's a one two three up there in the top the rest of them were down here I think this is about 15 right here for that so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twelve and fifteen it's basically 15 groups right there the bulk is probably blowing out right there so it's still shooting it's a tad high it should be maybe down a little bit more but uh, like I said before the windage. Is uh, almost maxed out on the thing right there because, like I said before, I was shooting slugs, and slugs usually have a uh, a higher, I don't know, what I'll call it, have a higher velocity. And plus, I also have a, a the, the new Molot uh, muzzle break I put on my gun. And basically, what happened was I don't know if most people aren't if uh, most people aren't too familiar that if if you go from a gun that doesn't have any uh, compensator in the end to a gun that does have a compensator on her, more than likely it'll uh, possibly severely change your grouping as well too. Because basically whenever I had the DDI AK, it was like shooting way over here and stuff like that. It was shooting over here and high. But when I, when I got the, uh, the, the SRV V4 jet brake on here, it actually moved, moved the groups over about two or three inches over to the right. And uh, whenever I got the vet, the Vepper 12 a few years ago, it was shooting. It was actually shooting like down here, right here. And uh, basically, what happened was, as soon as they put the brake on her, the groups went up, and they went over about an inch right there. And for that, and uh, I basically had to compensate for it as well too. So the next batch right here is shooting the M44. This is a 1944 one right here. This is basically two versions of the targets. Uh, this one right here is at the uh, 40 yards, same as the other before right here. This is non sore tip 1981 or 82 right here. As you see right here, it's shooting a little bit to the right, probably about, a, maybe about an inch, inch and a half here to the right. That's the steel core, non sore tip, 149 grain, full metal jacket, bow till, steel casing, factory 188, and it's Burdan primer as well too. That's the M44, 1944, and yeah, that was today, I think, up here today. And here's the other ammunition I was shooting. This is the uh, PPU match. Uh, it's basically uh, made in 1977. It's 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 corrosive as well too, but uh, it's it has a match bullet. And it's 182 grain full metal jacket bow till heavy ball 182 grain bullet. Uh, it's um, copper. It doesn't have a uh, steel core. It's lead core. And uh, basically the bulk of them were right in here. You can see them all right here lined up right here as well too. You got one, two, three on the outside, but uh, if you notice, you compare them between them on here, 
the wand in favor is going to the right. There's a teeny bit over here. And the, the PPU match, even though I'm still aiming directly in the center right here, the bulk of them are hitting right in the center. That's about 15 round shots, except I don't have 15 here. I, I took about two or three plinks, a couple of our pop cans up there. That's a PPU match. That's 19, I think 19, it's a late 70s. 182 grain, full metal jacket, bow to a brass case. And uh, brass tends to, I uh, mean, I'll call it, cycle a little bit uh, harder than your typical steel casing in, in, in most of my guns. I don't know why, but it, it's, it's, a, it's a richer ammunition, but uh, it does cycle a little bit more difficult than your typical steel casings out there for that. So be aware of that. Even though they do tend to shoot a lot better and keep it right, it's almost like bedded dead in the zone right there as opposed to being shot off to the right so different bullets are going to be shooting different areas as well too so be aware for that you can see that right off the bat here these are basically done almost done right off the other one so this one's shooting directly to the right right here like i said about one two inches over here and the other one was shooting almost directly in the middle so you can't beat that and because of the 182 grain it actually turns a, a bad gun almost good, basically, because you got heavier bullets, and the heavier bullets tend to uh, be longer to compensate for a bad bore. So if your gun has like a like a fair to bad bore, uh, shooting match grade or match extra ammunition like an 182 or 200 grain bullet will actually tighten your groups up in your gun. So be aware of that as well too. So if anybody has any questions, comments, whatnot, I just give me a uh, leave me a message on this page here. And I'll answer any questions uh, you may have about shooting your guns like this and stuff like that. Try zeroing it in better and everything else like that. I'll see you guys.